my greatest concern, uh, because I, I've been focusing, uh, you know, for 20 years on network-based security, I've seen the evolution of security problems where it was, you know, simple hackers, script kiddies, oh, I can take down a network, oh, I can do this. Now you're seeing large, uh, you know, environments of internet crime, internet, uh, you know, uh, loss of privacy, uh, a lot of potential vulnerabilities and concerns that are there. You know, so for example, we were talking about the Internet of Things. It's one thing that's great. I can control the lights in my house with, um, you know, with, a, with an app. But I don't want the lights in my house, which are now going to have IP stacks on them, you know, communicating to botnet controllers, you know, in North Korea or something like that. You see what I'm saying? Uh, you, you, you don't, you know, as more things get IP addresses and IP address stacks, they become more vulnerable. In fact, the, uh, one of the uh, addresses in the technical plenary last night was all about this issue about small things, small stacks, are they securable, are they upgradable, are they, you know, what happens if uh, you buy, uh, you know, certain elements like, uh, let's say, a thermostat in your house and it's being controlled by a third party, but then that third party goes away and what do you do? You know, it, there's a lot of things like that that are going to be happening. But on the other hand, there are a lot of things that are really, really cool too. You know, so for example, uh, my wife and, and I just had dinner last night at one of the, one of the places because we used Open Table. I was able to use Apple Pay, you know, to just pay for the bill. You know, see the bill, pay for the bill. They didn't have to actually bring it out to me. It's kind of weird, just kind of say, telling the waiter, "Hey, I paid for it on Apple Pay. I'm just going to walk out of here." But uh, the idea of you know net automation of tasks that you wouldn't think about just like that is, is certainly uh, you know a, a direction things are going. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Well, I think that um, you know it is going to be a trickle-down thing. You know, we have to. Uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, people aren't just end users of the products they have available to them. If those products aren't well designed, aren't well done, uh, that is ultimately an issue. So, you know, from a top-down standpoint, we really have to recognize that you know security is not an option. In fact, as a, uh, a security professional. One of my principal axioms, I say, is that uh, security is not required for productivity. You know, it's a, you, you can create productivity, you can create things, but whether or not they're secure requires an extra effort. And I think that all the way from standards, all the way from doing things like opportunistic encryption, trying to encrypt you know, all of our transactions, uh, making sure our pro protocols are reasonably secure from a design standpoint, you know, and then getting you know, the methodologies to implement them into you know, product services and the like. That's really you know, the big thing. It's kind of a call to action that says it's, that security and productivity go hand in hand that we have to really you know, consider both.